Hi, Dr. Lim here. Today we shall discuss the preface of Sanghalun. I have seen many lectures on Sanghalun. Basically, the preface is ignored or is lightly mentioned during introduction because the preface is more of advice to the future therapist than any medical training. But to me, the preface is the most precious of all. We love and respect Chang Chong Jing very much. But unfortunately, there is not much record of him historically. We only know that he is from Henan province and became an important government officer in Changsa. And apparently, Chang Chong Jing was a simple man who went to the grassroots level because the language he used are the common language. Other than that, we know nothing much about him. The preface was the only section Chang Chong Jing talked about his family. Two thirds of them perished in the outbreak of disease due to war and famine. That were the books. What were the book he studied and his mission of fighting the disease and suffering of the masses, etc. I still remember when I first read about the preface. At the time I just began to compare the teaching of genotropy, the preface moved me very much. To me, this is a personal letter of the great man written to us to guide us through various diseases and to guide us through difficult times too. In the early days, many times when I face problem in the development of Jackson, when I am exhausted, I like to think of two things to relax my mind. You know. First is a visualization of the railway beside my parents' house. It was a gracious curve before extending into infinity. I recall my childhood day running wildly on the railway, passing through the village along it, passing through the paddy fields, and finally I could see the mountain from a distance. When I was a child, somehow I always missed the mountains. They lay there quietly covered with a thin mist and seemed so mysterious to me. Other than the railway, which is the prefect of Sang Hanlun, that always uh, calmed my agitated mind. I read the preface over and over again. Then my mind somehow started to relax. Sometimes I went to sleep holding the preface in my hand. That was in the early days. After that, I could remember the points in the prefix. For example, as a great therapist, you should be able to treat yourself and take good care of yourself. Do not go for fame and gain sunni, but focus on the development of the herbology, etc. And all these concepts are put into the practice of genotropy until today. My old house was a bit dusty. Sometimes I could see the ray of light you know, shine on the dust, making it a misty ray. Chang Chong Jing has passed away almost 2,000 years now. His body must have turned into dust. During the night, when it is all quiet, sometimes during the study of uh, Sang Han Lun, I could imagine that Chang Chong Jing is happy. We study the Sang Han Lun and laugh heartily. His laughter vibrate through the times, vibrate through the space, vibrating through the dust in the air and vibrating deep into your heart. We love him with all our hearts and emotions. I told myself in any one time, if I started to taste Sang Han Lun, I must make a lecture just on the preface to express our respect to this great man, to take his personal advice into our practice to guide us through the difficult times. The preface comes, carries the basic advice to us, and taking care of our body is important. Never let those quack doctors handle our health. We can handle it ourselves, and we can treat those who are dear to us, and we can remove the suffering from them and others. I hope you also find the preface touching your heart become the bacon in the study of herbs and medicines become a bacon in your life too, guiding you on the right way to see through all challenges in life. I shall put the preface and all chapter in the web 
And you can download it freely to study. And you can read it over and over again. Now, allow me to read out the preface to you. And after that, we shall explain it section by section. Preface to Sang Han Lun. Discussion on Harmful Diseases by Chang Chong Ching. Around year 200 CE. Whenever I read about Yen Che, who treated patients in the country of Kuo by observing the subtle symptom of the deal of Qi and predicting his demise. I cannot help but admire him deeply for his genius. Present day, people no longer study and care about health, never dedicate themselves on the medicines, diagnosis and formulas, never in the order to treat the disease of the lords and parents to rescue the poor and have not to take care of their own self and maintain the body. Instead, they are desperate for fame and power, praising the rich and authority, diligently running after them, caring for nothing but name and profit. They take care of the branches and forget the trunk. They correct the outside but rotting inside. If the skin no longer exists, where the hair can attach to? When suddenly inflicted by harmful ailments, suffered the serious illness who didn't shock by the affliction. Then they lower their dignity, go to salmon for prayer, leaving his health to even and split, surrender himself for sure defeat. The body that should survive for a hundred years, which is so precious and important, simply put the hand of the quack doctor, let him do. Whatever he realized, oh, alas. When the body died, the subconscious faded, transformed into spirit, haunted and weeping for nothing. What a pity. The whole world becomes senseless and without awareness, always disregard his own body, so careless about his life. Why should they then talk of fame and power? They do not know how to love and care for others, to understand and tend for themselves. When met with ill fate and disaster, become confused and foolish like a haunted spirit. How tragic! Those who are mediocre, running after the superficial glory, do not bolster the basics, forget his body for material gain, like standing on the thin ice of the lake. So risky to this extent. I used to have a huge clan, over 200 members, but since the beginning of the Tian'an era, within 10 years, two-thirds of them have perished, mainly due to contagious disease. Deeply regret the loss in the past, saddened by not able to save the sick. I diligently studied the ancient teaching, collected a great number of method and formula extract from Su Wen, Ling Su, Nan Jing, Ying Yang, Ta Lun, the Tai Lu, Yao Lu, to study the diagnosis of power staking, to compose the discussion on harmful and miscellaneous disease in 16 scroll. It may not treat all diseases, but at least can study the disease and know about the causes. If you can understand, what I have collected, then you have realized a lot. Human drives all things by five elements. Human are endowed by five molars having the five organs. The meridians and point, the understanding of yin and yang, it is so subtle. Their diversity and variation are difficult to fathom. Without great talent and knowledge, one may not have the insight and acumen to understand the principle of it. In ancient times, there were famous doctors like Sun Nong, Huang Ti, Qi Bo, Bo Gao, Lei Gong, San Yu, Sao Si, and Zhong Wen. Zhong Wen. In mid antiquity, there were Chang Sa and Bian Che. During the Han Dynasty, they are Gong Sun, Yang Qing, and Chang Gong. After this, no more great doctor was hurt. 
Doctors today do not study the teaching of the classic and apply the knowledge. They simply follow their own school and stick rigidly to the old way. When examining the patient, just a short meeting and a few talking, then started to give the prescription. Filling the upper pulse and ignoring the lower pulse, checking the hand and not reaching for the leg. Do not study the three sections of the body. When counting the pulse width against the breathing, do not even up to 50 breath count. They diagnose hastily, do not understand the symptoms properly, missing all the details, see the wood and miss the forest. In this way, to conclude whether the disease is fatal or curable is impossible. Confucius said, no instinctively is the best. Second to it is to learn well. Next to, it, next to it is to study widely, but not deeply. I always like the technical and the science of application. Please allow me to put all down in words. Above is the preface. Now we try to explain the practice. In the beginning, a famous ancient doctor, Pian Che, is mentioned, who lived in the 4th century BC and like the Charaka of India, traveled widely and treated various groups of patients. He was the first doctor that classified various disciplines of, of medical science, for example, treatment for women, children, and various types of patients. There were many famous uh, successful treatments of him and predicted of diseases by observation. At one time, when he, when he traveled to the state of Kuo, the prince was declared dead and the royal family are busy in the preparation for the funeral. But Pen Chue found that the inner tide and growing area of the prince was warm and told the royal family the prince was, was only in deep coma and could be treated. Then he acupunctured the head area uh, uh, and the prince was awakened from a coma. Later, Pen Chue applied a herbal soup and the prince was completely recovered. Many people since then praised Pen Chue as the doctor who, can, who could bring back the dead. At one time, he met the Marquis Huan of Qi, Qi Huan Gong. By pure observation, you know, he warned the Marquis that he has a serious health problem. Now the problem was at the surface of the body and could be treated. The Marquis was annoyed and claimed that Pian Che tried to make money by claiming he was sick. After five days, when they met again, Pian Che warned the Marquis again. Now the disease had developed deeper, was in the intermediate area, uh, area and needs to be treated as soon. Marquis ignored him and claimed himself very healthy. After another five days, the man again, Pen Chen left him in a hurry. The Marquis asked his man to follow Pen Chen and inquire why he left so quickly. It is said now the disease has entered deep into the body. It was too late to apply treatment and the Marquis would die soon. A few more days after the Marquis uh, suddenly uh, fell sick, Udi then I tried to summon Pen Chen, but who have left the country? Apparently, to avoid the coming trouble, the Marquis died soon after that. Zhang Zhongjing was fascinated by the successful treatment performed by Pen Chue. He exclaimed what a loss the art of observation and treatment would not pass down entirely. Eventually, Zhang Zhongjing developed the first comprehensive diagnosis system in medical history. He perfected the six section diagnosis system Liu Jing Pian Chen. Supplement with the five organ system and miscellaneous diseases like women and child diseases, grouping of diseases and etc. He was able to predict the disease like Pian Che. At one time, he met a young and famous novelist, Wang Chan. Just by observation, he predicted that Wang has health problem and need to be treated by using some mixture of minerals. If not, after about 20 years, the hair and the eyebrow may drop and he would die after half a year. Tang Chungjing gave him the herbal formula and advised him to go for the treatment. That time, Wang was young, very famous in his 20s. No? He ignored the advice of Tang Chungjing. No? After a few days, they met again. Tang asked Wang, have you taken the medicines? 
One claim, he has taken it, but with a deep sigh. Chang said, if you have taken the medicine, sir, the complexion of your face should show it or not. Chang knew Wang never took the medicines. This is Chang predicted not. When Wang was in his 40s, his eyebrows started to drop and he died after 180 days, exactly as Chang Chongqing predicted. In many occasions, Chang Chongqing also brought back someone in apparent death. In one case, a man hanged himself and was pronounced dead. Chang said it just happened and should be able to rescue the man. He asked the strong man to press, press and release the chest law and uh, another man to raise and, and lower the two arm of the patient to expand and contract the chest. This is the first known record of ancient cardio pulmonary resuscitation, CPS, and artificial respiration. The man survived and was brought back to life. In genotherapy, we diagnose people and study the language of the body. This tradition has been traced back to Chang Chongqing and all the way to Pian Che. In traditional Chinese medicine, we honor Chang Chongqing as a father of diagnosis and herbal formulations, which we agree totally. As I told you, even if you may not be interested in herbology, study of Sang Han Lun can make you understand the language of the body and predict the health problem. We always say prevention is better than cure. But, we, but without prediction, then how to prevent? So prediction of health problem is the first step in prevention. On many occasions, I predicted that a person is suffering from renal problem, lung anemia, gastrointestinal problem, etc. Or are mainly from the teaching of Chang Chongqing in Sang Halun. Chang Chongqing stressed the importance of diagnosis before application of herbs and medicine. Many of his diagnosis techniques are even more advanced than the so-called modern medicines which are learned when you study along the Sang Halun. Chang Chongqing lamented that people at the time no longer study and care for their health, never learn about diagnosis and herbal formula to treat themselves and others. This lamentation is true until today. Where people spend more time on choosing their clothing you know, and hairstyle you know, and choosing their food to take care of their health. The preface of Chang Chongqing also pointed out an important fact. Anybody can learn about herbs and treat himself and others. Treatment is not the monopoly of doctors. Everybody can learn about herbs and his first person is himself. Start to treat himself and maintain good health before applying to others. Genotherapy preserves this good tradition. Everybody can learn it and we can treat ourselves. Not like many medical training, the doctors could not treat themselves. We have too many cases where the doctors come to us for their health problems. For almost 30 years, I traveled widely and experienced various types of weather and environment with different foods and drinks, but I do not remember. I suffered any flu, fever or headache during traveling because before the flu and fever developed, there were telltale signs of it. I could quickly treat myself before it developed into flu and fever. After studying Sang Han Lun, I expect you to have the same skill. Chang Chung Ching also complained people were desperate for fame and power, position and profit, would they take care of the external and forget the internal? This is true even to today. Many people are rushing mad like the red race, always chasing the rainbow in their life, making money and losing their health, then lose the money to treat their health problem. If one does not take care of their health, when serious illness strike, they will panic and surrender them their precious body in the hand of others. Some medical institution main aim is to make money. If you are in their hand, <laughs> you know what will happen to your bank account. When you lose your health, you wait for nothing. So better study herbs and take good care before it is too late. Chang Chong Singh said the whole world becomes senseless and without awareness. This regard the body and careless about life. How true is his statement even applied to today's situations? When men with serious disease 
Many become confused and foolish like a haunted and aimless spirit. What a strong language uh, Tang Chung Chung has you. We have no objection uh, but to agree with him. Tang Chung Chung advised us not to run after the superficial glory for material gain and forget the health. He asked us to take our health in our own hand. This is such an advanced teaching, even in today's situation. Nowadays, medical expenses are such a heavy burden for many nations, and good and advanced treatment are mainly for the rich and affluent. But Tang Chung Ching said, no, you need to surrender your health in this way. Study your body, treat it with your body, start to send stress signals to you. If everybody is studying Sang Han Lun, the medical expenses of any nation can be cut down substantively. And our own medical expenses also can be cut down. When it reached the time of Chang Chung Ching, China broke into a warring state. Warlords were constantly at war with each other. War and famine led to widespread contagious disease in just a span of 50 years. The population of Han was reduced from 15, uh, reduced to 50 million from 50 million. Two-thirds of the population perished. Chang Chung Ching has a huge clan of over 200 people. But within 10 years, two-thirds of them died from pandemic and various diseases. Chang Chung Ching was saddened and regretted by this. Then he studied widely and read many medical books available at the time and searched for a great master to teach him. Eventually, he compiled a harmful disease, including contagious disease and various types of diseases into 10 chapters. Classified the disease into six sections. Other diseases which are classified by five organs, by gender and age, by various groups of diseases that cannot be grouped by six section theory are put into six chapters on miscellaneous disease. So, totally 16 chapters were written. Unfortunately, due to wall and uh, dislocation, the work of Chang Chung Ching was lost. Then Wang Su He collected the bamboo strip of his uh, work from the student of Chang Chung Ching. All the strips were mixed up. Luckily, Wang himself is a great doctor and able to compile back all the writing according to six section theory and reinstate back the 10th chapter. But the chapters on miscellaneous uh, disease uh, were missing. So Wang Su He renamed the book as Sang Han Lun, took away the title Cha Ping, which means miscellaneous diseases. After about 800 years after Chang Chung Ching, the scholar found a womb eaten bamboo strip of the work of uh, Chang Chung Ching. They are able to separate out the part of miscellaneous uh, discussion and compare back the section on miscellaneous diseases into a book known as the Important Summary in the Golden Cabinet, Ching Kui Yao Lie. But there are many less informed scholars who think that it was Wang who split the book into two and criticized Wang heavily. They blame Wang for changing the name of the book and confused people. Actually, they were the ones who were confused and interpreted ancient uh, Chinese language wrongly. We are thankful to, thankful to Wang Su to compile the book into Sang Han Lun and pass it down to us. Chang Chung Ching also criticized some doctors never study deeply into the subject of medicines, simply follow their own school rigidly and only to the way. This is so true. Even for today, the Herbert school all stick to their own system and criticize others. Even the modern medicines, many doctors are against natural treatments and setting up so many laws until the practice of herbology becomes so difficult in various parts of the world. You can no longer study and practice herbology freely and legally on your own in many modern society. And to overcome this problem, I developed a theory using day-to-day -day vegetables to replace many herbs. On one hand, pass down the knowledge of application of fresh herbs. On the other hand, no government can ban you from consuming the day-to-day -day vegetables. Then once again, anybody can study the herbs and practice it on its own. In a sense, we are now following the advice of Chang Chung Ching, study widely and do not stick to the old way.
when the old way of going into the mountain to collect the herbs and the law say you could you cannot practice herbology without a proper license, then we go for fresh vegetable from the supermarket and practice Sanghanun. Then no one can stop us. As advised by Chang Chong Jin, we the therapists uh, should diagnose the patient carefully and thoroughly, taking the time to listen to them, ask sufficient questions to know his problem, checking his pulse and tongue, eyes and skin, etc., to confirm the diagnosis and formulate the treatment carefully. Nowadays, many people simply advise treatment without much knowledge in diagnosis and causing more harms than helps. What is worse? When the doctor cannot treat the diseases, they started to predict the death of the patients. How long they can live? Over the years, we have brought back too many who were predicted to die. Such an irresponsible way of treating the patient can cause a lot of fear into the emotion. And many times the parents, the patients, die of fear, not of the disease. Confucius advised that the best way to study is to use your common sense and intuition. Apply your wisdom in study. Next to it is to study rigidly on the subject and study it well. Last is to study widely but never deeply into the subject. Zhang Zhongjin use, uses this advice to conclude his preface. And it is a good advice in it. When we study Sanghandun, we never study it rigidly and apply a lot of common and we should apply a lot of common sense in it. I hope you do the same and enjoy the journey in studying this beautiful classic. I have a lot more to talk about this preface, but we, have, we are also limited by the constraint of time. I trust that you shall always come back to read the preface when you see through the long study of Sanghanun. So if you feel tired in study, if you do not understand the lecture, if you feel you have failed, please come back and read this preface. Read it over and over again. Then your heart will come down, your emotion becomes stable, and your tiredness disappears. See you again. Bye-bye.